Hello, welcome to part two of my five part series of AI automation tools for SMMA owners. So the two tools that I said that I would use this past week were Opus Clip and AdCreative.ai. So Opus Clip actually did end up working a lot better than Video.ai and here's why. So firstly, the UI was just so much better and also it didn't take as long for them to process the same video that I did try to put through video.ai. On video.ai, just for those that did not watch last week's video, that one took about 45 minutes to an hour to upload to their software and then for them to chop it up into eight to 10 different clips with good hooks and with some captions as well. So with Opus Clip, it only took about like six to eight minutes for it to fully process my whole video. And I noticed that it did pick up on better hooks, but the hooks weren't all that great. They were comparable to video.ai's, which was one of the main downfalls that I had pointed out in my last video. There were more positive notes with Opus Clip though. One of them being is that I actually did find some videos with hooks, there just wasn't many of them. The second being, you are able to customize a lot more with your video. And I found that to be a way better experience than I ever got with video.ai. 100% recommend checking out their software. I think that it's good for anyone that is creating long form content like this and wanting to make short form content videos. Maybe you have a short form content agency and you're looking to find a software that will create multiple clips for your clients with subtitles. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is good enough. So another one that I ended up trying out too was adcreative.ai. This one was actually pretty good. I did run into one bug though, and it might be fixed now, but let me just start from the beginning of what the whole experience was. So it does let you sign up for a free account. And as of right now, there is a seven day free trial, but I ended up attaching one of my client's accounts to it. From my understanding, what you had to do was connect your Facebook ads manager, your TikTok ads manager to it. And the software will then see your top performers and create ads like that. From my experience, this was not the case. I did end up connecting a uh, client of mine's ad account to it, but they did not automatically generate some ad creatives. That being said, they do have options to make ad creative workflow a lot easier. It is connected through ChatGPT's API. Essentially, it generates a header, a subheader, and just a call to action on the image. It then has a photo library that you can browse through to find images that are relevant to this ad creative. And the ad ended up looking really, really good. Like I actually would have tried to use it and the call to actions that it came up with, the hooks, they were all catchy and I feel like they would have grabbed people's attention. And what's also nice about them is you can regenerate different hooks. If you, if you feel like the eight to 10 that they provide to you are not good enough, you can just have it regenerate a couple other ones for you and you can browse through them and see which one you like the best. I ended up finding ones that I, I liked, a header, a subheader, and a CTA. I found an image and the ad looked really good. But the main issue that I ran into this was whenever I tried to save it to my collection, it ended up not saving. I just ran into the same bug over and over. I'm hoping that this is fixed. It is something that I still wanna test. I would be really intrigued to see if it does work. This tool I feel like is really good. There's a lot of potential, I think, and I would recommend that you play around with it. If you end up doing so let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. So now on to this video's topic. The AI tools I'm going to be going over are for sales and outreach. So I want to make one thing crystal clear. I am strictly mentioning these tools because they seem to work really well for other agency owners who do cold outreach. I personally do not really do much cold outreach. I use a platform called Upwork. I've used this since the beginning. I've been in the digital marketing space for over three years. This is just where I've gotten all my clients and I prefer Upwork a lot more than just cold DMs, cold emails, cold calls, all that stuff. So with that being said, doesn't mean that I won't be trying these tools. I might very well do so. I just have done a lot of research on this and they seem to be really, really effective ways to enhance your outreach game, enhance your sales game. And yeah, so I wanted to show them here. I'm going to get into it for you just so that you can see what I got. All right, so the first tool is called Taplio. And what Taplio does is it generates lead lists for specific criteria on LinkedIn. 
As you can see over here, according to Top Leo, you can create better LinkedIn content, schedule your posts at the right time, build new relationships, and monitor results. It has ChatGPT4 integrated into its software, and it's free to start. So for anyone that does a lot of B2B LinkedIn outreach, this is something that could be very valuable to you. Honestly, any business owner can use this. If you're a content creator, a freelancer, if you have an agency, this tool could be very useful for you. I would say that anyone that does the classic outreach methods like cold email, cold DMs, if you haven't gone into LinkedIn, this could be something that works really well for you. This is something that I've noticed, I'm sure you have too, is a lot of SMMA owners, they stick to the classic outreach methods and most of them also go over to LinkedIn and they find a lot of success over there. So you might find a lot of luck over there just by using this tool. If you end up using it, let me know as well. You can leave a comment below or you can even follow me on my social channels over on Instagram or threads. Leave me a message over there and I will be happy to hear how this works out for you. So this next tool is called ManyChat. And what ManyChat does is it automates messages via Instagram DM, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, which helps you interact faster with your audience and scale engagement in your community. So ManyChat is built for sales and marketing. And I have seen so many content creators on Instagram using tools like this. I'm sure you've also noticed as well, if you follow any like content creators on Instagram is a lot of times they will be promoting some sort of like email list or free ebook and to get access to that free ebook they would say to comment ebook below and they would automatically get that ebook sent to them via dm and this has really changed the game because instead of pointing someone to the link in the bio all they really have to do is type one word and they get access to whatever it is that you're promoting or wanting to collect leads from so this isn't something that i've used myself but it is something that I do want to start using I don't know when I'll be using this tool but I know once I do I will 100% let you know when all right this next one is called video ask this is a interactive video software that lets you get more face-to-face -face with your customers a lot quicker it helps you collect data through data forms in interactive videos in a UI sense I find this really similar to Instagram polls so you know how whenever you are talking on your Instagram story and you have a question for your community and you can add a poll there and people get to input their answer in that poll. Video Ask takes that a step further where you get to send that interactive video of asking a question, maybe pushing for your lead to book a consultation with you. And on that video, you got two options. Yes, I want to book the consultation. No, when's a better time? Or you can even take it a step further and maybe even give a, a third option, which is no, I'm not interested. For each answer there is, anyone that's clicked, there will be a second video that is given and that video will then take them to the next step, which is, let's just say they did want to book the consultation. I would then have a video of saying, hey, thanks for booking that consultation. We're going to send you an email within the next 24 hours. Click on that email and we'll be able to set up that consultation for you. So it seems like a really handy tool. This is not something that I have used yet. If I get more into those other cold outreach methods, it is something that I might use. Tool number four is text.com. This one is something that I actually have used. I dug a little deeper into it yesterday. And what it does is it takes your messages from multiple different platforms. So let's just say, I wanna take messages from Slack, from WhatsApp, from Instagram, from Twitter, from LinkedIn. Say I wanted to take all those messages. What I could do is I could view all of these messages in one place through text.com. What's also nice is just not having to have multiple apps open at the same time. I don't know about you, but that can slow down my computer. Being able to just see everything in one place has helped me a lot. All right, the fifth and final tool that I wanted to share with you guys is called GetResponse. So this is a good software for anyone that sends tons of emails every day and just trying to find a way to automate communication so that everything seems a little bit more manageable in your inbox. So this is a good tool for that if you've been looking for one. Not only that, but they have a website builder. They have marketing automations and e-commerce marketing. So all of this is integrated into one software, which you can also set up for free with no credit card required. 
And if you did also end up loving it, what's really great about it too is that it's only $13 a month for you to have everything that they offer for that low of a price. I feel like it's a win-win for agency owners who do a lot of this cold outreach. So that's gonna be it for all these tools. Let me know what you end up deciding to use first. If you end up using text.com or maybe you end up using video ask, let me know and let me know why because I feel like all these tools, they have their own place and a lot of SMMA owners may be able to use them in their own ways. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel and subscribe if you are looking to turn your SMMA into an AI automated agency, just like myself. Next week will be part three of my five part series of AI automation tools for SMMA owners. And it will be all about AI chatbots. I'm also working on more content devoted to Facebook advertising just since I have a lot of experience in this area. Look forward to that content and yeah, comment below if you have any other content ideas that you would like me to talk about and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.